So first, what's your name? My name is Randall. Nice, nice. And where are you from? Seattle, Washington. So how long are you visiting Vegas for? Uh, just four days. Nice. And how do you like Vegas? I love Vegas. Vegas is great. I've been coming here for years. Love the area, but uh, not a place to raise a family. It's busy, but it's good. The atmosphere, yeah, it's just so different to anything I've been to. Um, it's all right. You know, it's Vegas. Oh, this is on the cloud, Vegas strong. I hit the motherfucking casino for 10000 So you lost it or you won I it? I won. Yeah? yeah? Oh, man, I'm glad to hear but it. But I lost it back, though. I played it all back. How long have you guys been doing this? Like five months. Five years. What do you have for breakfast this morning? I smoked three blunts. You just run into a lot of celebrities, you know? I gotta go talk to my boss. Oh yeah, you're cool. We saw Usher in April and we had the Kardashians in front of us. I went to go get gas at a gas station at 6.30 in the morning and I saw a gentleman buy two Four Locos, crack them open, chug them while filling up his car and then drive off. <laughs> totally Vegas. There's this one homeless guy that always comes around basically half naked, clothes all ripped up, <laughs> Las Vegas underwear. I, anytime I see him, I'm just like, it's gonna be a good work day today. If you really keep an eye out for things that you see here, you will start to notice that there's a lot of dark things in Vegas, such as like sex trafficking. Like the Mirage is one of the very like commonly known places for people to, you know, sell themselves. I saw a person on the floor with blood on them. Apparently there was um, these teenagers from California that got into a fight just around the corner from the store right there. And one of them got like, angry and they, they just like shot at each other. It is pretty scary out there. Mm -hmm. They stop all this goddamn shooting each other and then get some real money with each other. My name is Zara Shepard. What does Vegas mean to you? Uh, pretty much like happiness. Sometimes it could be bad and good, but the good always come. Will you take part in my So first, what's your name? My name is Curtis. Yours? Addison. Well, I've been here several times. We came out here today, uh, basically for this week, for her birthday. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I like it. I kind of want to move out of Vegas, but I guess it is my home in a way. Vegas is home. Home is where the heart is. So. It means a lot, you know, it's home. Uh, it's all I've ever known. I love the city. I married my wife here and um, we uh, conceived our first child here. And... If you had 30 seconds to tell the world something, what would you say? Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of pressure. Uh, try to be the best version of yourself you could be. You know, don't uh, try to short yourself. Always say yes more than you say no. The stuff that I regret is the stuff that I said no to. That's the stuff I regret now that I'm older. 
So. You know, I graduated and lived out here off and on. And I walk around and see the streets. It's kind of rough out here to the kids. You know, I see all the drugs and crime. You know, kids, stay in school. Keep your head up. If you got a goal or dream, keep on doing it. Let me show you kids something. Whatever you put your mind to, you can do. My buddies right here taught me a lot. Let me show you something. No matter what anybody says, kids, doesn't matter. They talked about Jesus. Keep your head up. Stay in school. Keep your dreams.